Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Saab Al Fatih. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, honorary president of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Azana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the official weight check for the fighters participating in the Brave 16 Championship for professional MMA fighters, which included KHK MMA fighter Hamza Al Kohiji and Hussein Ayad. The event was held yesterday in Abu Dhabi, UAE. His Highness Sheikh Khalid asserted his confidence of the success of this upcoming event that adds to a series of successes achieved by this, the earlier edition of Brave, partly due to the support of the UAE Jitsu Federation, which is hosted by the UAE capital for the second time. Sheikh Khalid continued to state that this reflects the keenness and interest of the UAE Federation to strengthen cooperation and coordination with the Khalid bin Hamad sports organization, which contributes to supporting the sport of mixed martial arts regional and internationally. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 16th edition of the Brave Championship will kick off today at the Mubadala Hall in Zayed Sport City under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Representative Council Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah attended the 100th anniversary celebration of the establishment of the Azerbaijan Parliament, which was held in the capital Baku. The event was held under the patronage of Azerbaijan President Ilham Aliyev. Al Mullah stressed that the wisdom of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa has led Bahrain to attain various democratic gains and achievements that contributed to the National Action March. He also pointed out that His Majesty's vision shall transfer the kingdom to a new chapter of democratic development which was founded by National Action Charter and launched by the Reform Project. El Mullah conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to President Aliyev and his wishes of development and prosperity to his country and its people. During his speech at the ceremony, El Mullah said the keenness of the leadership of Bahrain to further advance relations with Azerbaijan and noted that Bahrain is preparing to hold its parliamentary and municipal elections. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa headed to New York City, United States, accompanied by senior officials from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and state institutions to participate in the 73rd meeting of the General Assembly of the United Nations to be held under the theme of Making the United Nations Relevant to All People, Global Leadership and Shared Responsibilities for Peaceful, Equitable and Sustainable Societies. Sheikh Khalid affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to act participate in these meetings as it is in line with the kingdom's established policy of openness and cooperation with the world and the United Nations and in support of the international efforts seeking a more stable and prosperous world at all security, political and economic levels. UNGA 73 will address the most important issues and developments on the international arena and their repercussions and effects on all countries of the world. Elaborating on UNGA 73, the minister said the meetings constitute an important opportunity to discuss means of intensifying international cooperation and seeking sustainable solutions to the crisis and problems facing the international community. The Minister of Foreign Affairs will deliver the speech of the Kingdom of Bahrain before UNGA 73 and hold meetings with several officials from broadly and friendly countries as well as senior UN officials. He will participate in several high-level events on UNGA sidelines as part of the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain to consolidate its relations and enhance its cooperation with various countries of the world. Most important of these events are the high-level meeting on global call for action on the world's drug problem, the Nelson Mandela Peace Summit 2018, the high-level meeting on financing the, 2000 and the 2030 Agenda, the high-level meeting on action to promote peacekeeping and the United Security Council's meeting on countering the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. The Minister of Foreign Affairs wished UNJ 73 all success to come out with positive results that would avail the entire international community.
On the occasion of International Peace Day, which falls today, the Shire Council expressed deep pride in the landmark achievements made by the Kingdom of Bahrain in the fields of tolerance and coexistence, which are the results of the numerous initiatives made by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that have resulted in making Bahrain a kingdom of peace and security. The Shire Council hailed the strategies and programs executed by the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, that aim for the elevation of the kingdom's status in the fields of peace, coexistence and cooperation, noting in this regard the unwavering support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Council also stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys various types of national and international human rights legislation which are based on the National Action Charter and the Constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain that, are, that is based on the values of justice and equality. Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Hala Lansari, held a work meeting with the United Nations Under Secretary General, Executive Director of the UN Women and Head of the International Jury of Princess Abika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa International Women Empowerment Award for Ms. La Malebo Nekuka. Al Ansari affirmed during the meeting, which was held on the sidelines of the second Eurasian Women's Forum 2018 in St. Petersburg, Russia, Bahrain's keenness to boost cooperation with international organizations concerned with women-related issues. She pointed out that Princess Tabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa International Women Empowerment Award represents a permanent platform to cast light on Bahrain's achievements in women's empowerment and enable the rest of the world to take advantage of the kingdom's experience. Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, SCW Halal Ansari, held a work meeting with Chairwoman of the Russian Federation Council, Valentina Ivanova Motivenko, on the sidelines of the Second Eurasian Women's Forum 2018 in St. Petersburg, Russia. Al Ansari praised the solid ties uh, binding the two friendly countries and reviewed ways of bolstering bilateral cooperation regarding women related issues. She also spotlighted at the meeting, which was held at the main Duma Hall at uh, Chepravsky Palace, Bahrain's efforts to empower women through SCW, which is presided by Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The SCW Secretary General also called on Valentina to encourage the relevant Russian institutions to take part in Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa International Women Empowerment Award, which was launched by SCW from the United Nations headquarters in New York in March. She also gave an account on the awards committee, which features internationally renowned figures in women's issues. Matevinko lauded Bahrain's keenness on women's development, stressing that the UN's adoption of the Bahraini model in empowering women through his royal through her royal highness princess sabika's award underlines maturity of the bahraini experience and provides an incentive for other countries to know the schemes and initiatives carried out by scw